A Halifax Donaire is like a gyro, but what makes it unique is its sweet, garlicky sauce. It's oddly delicious. What a description. This aircraft is also equipped with escape path light. Here we are on the plane. We're about to depart from the Toronto City Airport. It is a beautiful day outside. Uh, so let's get on the road. Or the in the sky, we'll say. And here we made it to Nova Scotia. Here we are on our way to Sydney, Nova Scotia. We've already been driving for almost three hours. So we're doing it. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we finally made it up to Alexander's Pizza in Sydney, Nova Scotia to take on their six pound donair challenge. This will be a big challenge, but I'm really excited. We traveled literally across the country for it. Um, it's undefeated, so we're gonna give it a go. The winner not only gets it for free, but they also get to pick a charity to donate $500 to. So let's do some good and uh, eat for a better cause. Today we're taking on Alexandra's Pizza Massive Six Pound Donair Challenge. To my knowledge, this is the biggest donair in the world, a Nova Scotia favorite. So without further ado, let's dig in. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. Today we're up at Alexandra's Pizza in Sydney, Nova Scotia, taking on their Six Pound Donair Challenge. A Donair is a Nova Scotia and Halifax favorite, very similar to a gyro as explained earlier in the video. This challenge was attempted 20 times previous to mine and was currently undefeated. I really wanted to be the first to beat it, not only to donate $500 to charity, but it's a Donair. So with that, let's tune in and enjoy the video. This food challenge made national news in Canada in February of 2018. It took me a couple months to get across the country, but finally, on May 19th, I was able to attempt this challenge. A fork is too slow. Just over 10 minutes in, just over 10 minutes. So, thank you. We got the majority of the meat gone. I'm gonna start working on the pita a little bit more. So I just don't have pita left. The game plan was to eat most of the meat first and then finish off eating the pita and the meat. In retrospect, I would have finished all the meat first, maybe used a little more sauce, and then went on to the pita. However, it was all really delicious. Good 
Okay. I have like a handful of meat and almost half a potato. With only about a pound of food left, I was definitely starting to slow down a bit. Flavor fatigue was setting in, but I did have multiple beverages which really helped with that. At this point, I was still going strong, and I was really hoping that I would be able to get the finish. Wait a minute. So who's doing it next? Doing it next? Yeah, you're doing it next? No, man, fuck you, no. We don't want to travel to the mirror, dude. Only not James. Final time was 28.30, the official time. Yeah, that's all right. All right, everybody, so we just completed the challenge. That was a very large donair. Um, I don't know if we'll be having donair tomorrow, by any means. Um, it was really good. So first off, thank you to uh, everybody here at Alexander's Pizza in Sydney, Nova Scotia for offering this challenge. I now get to pick a charity to donate $500 to. That's really cool. I was get a pizza for free. All right, everybody, so we finished that challenge. Uh, definitely a big one. Quite a bit of flavor fatigue involved, but it was really good. Um, I also, in regards, addition to this great big massive platter, we got a check to give to charity for $500. But again, huge thanks to everybody here at Alexander's Pizza. It was a very nice donair, great challenge. Everybody here is just superb. So with that, until next time, happy eating. Hey, Danica. Yeah? What's the biggest fiddle you've ever seen? Wow. If you're familiar with This Hour is 22 Minutes, a Canadian comedy classic TV show, they officially declared me the premier of Nova Scotia. I want to thank them as well as all the media outlets that covered this event.